We're traveling to the Philippines for the first time and we're heading to a beautiful island called Boracay, which is home to one of the best beaches in the world. This place is just beautiful. But getting there isn't completely straightforward. We need to catch two different flights, a boat, and also two tricycles. So let's just hope it all goes smoothly. So I guess we wait for our baggage here? Yeah, see you look. I'm so excited to be flying to the Philippines today. I literally can't wait. We're currently in Singapore, just packing up our room. And we're flying to Boracay tonight. Well, we're actually flying to Manila, then Boracay, which I'm really excited about. just arrived at Singapore Airport. Now we do have a long travel night ahead of us. So we fly from here to Manila and then Manila to Cataclan. And then we get a boat to Boracay. And apparently also when you arrive in, is it in Cataclan, you have to pay all these fees. It sounds like quite complicated when you get there to like what you have to pay, what you have to do. So we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna show you exactly like step by step what we're doing. Boracay looks incredible. It's a place that I discovered probably only about a year ago. Like I hadn't heard about it before then. Um, and ever since then I have been like 100% I'm gonna visit here one day and I can't believe today is the day. So we're flying throughout the night. So our flight isn't actually until midnight and then we actually arrive in Boracay at like 9 a.m. So yeah, we're flying all through the night. So the four hour connection in the middle is gonna be fun. Hopefully we can just find somewhere to sleep in Manila airport. We need to go drop our bags off. I'm currently sat on the floor because we were sorting out our suitcases, trying to get the weights right. Yeah, also super excited to be at Singapore airport because apparently this is like one of the best airports in the world. I think I read somewhere that it'd been voted the number one airport in the world for like eight years running. Apparently now, the best airport in the world is um, Doha. Is it Doha in Qatar? Yeah. So in the last episode, I said that the cloud forest is home to the world's tallest indoor waterfall. Well, turns out it's actually one of the world's tallest waterfalls. Not actually the tallest. The one at Singapore airport is the tallest in the world. So let's go see it. So cool. I can't believe this is in an airport. in an airport. Hey, hey, what? I've never been to an airport like this. I can see why it was rated like number one for quite a few years. Yeah, it, it makes you think like what's the ones that are in front of it like that? Yeah, what's like, like Qatar's Delta. airport like? Yeah. Wow. And it changes colours. So cool. It's like being in a rainforest with the amount of trees and, and like bamboo jungle. Yeah, there's bamboo here. I just feel like this whole weekend we've just been like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah, it is. Uh, that is really cool. It's literally like walking in a shopping mall, isn't it? It is, it's a massive mall. Like, this is all before we've checked in. Yeah. It this is, literally is a massive mall. Like, it's, cool. it's crazy. There's more food places here than there was in the mall at... Um, oh yeah, Marina, Marina Bay, Bay Sands. Sands, yeah. So much choice. We just checked in our bags and I'm slightly confused with what we do when we get to Manila. So he basically said, you don't have to pick up your bag and take it to the check-in desk. You don't have to like recheck back in, but you have to pick it up for a customs check. And then put it on a then, different belt and it goes off. A different like direction. <laughs> yeah, like you, you pick up the bag, do a customs check, and then you take your bag to, he said there's a designated belt, which then so, takes off, but you don't have to check it in again. Very I've never heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of that. It'd so probably be really straightforward. Let's part. fingers crossed, but yeah, we should have enough time when we get there to like figure it out. So oh yeah, we got four hours. So yeah, I'm sure be right. should be all good. This is a very fancy terminal. Oh yeah, Louis Vuitton, Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. Let's go explore. We went for a Burger King. Mm -mm, I'm excited. And a Coke Zero. Oh, yum! These are so good. Go. 
bus stop. Vanilla. Are you excited? Yeah, boy. Jasper's in the window seat for once. Oh, I'm massive. I forget about this. No. After oh, every what? flight. Right, welcome on board this Philippine Airlines flight PR510 Airbus 321 service on for Manila. We expect to depart on schedule and flying time for today is 3 hours and 25 minutes. So we've got all our luggage, now we've got to figure out where to go. So we ended up giving our luggage to some random kind of guy just stood there. Um, we think he just ended up putting like a tag on it. Um, so hopefully that's what we we're meant to do. Yeah, he, just, he just took the cases and He just took off. the cases and left. So fingers crossed our luggage arrives in Boracay. <laughs> but we are now Over outside. Okay. Outside. We're now outside trying to figure out the departures yeah, you gotta, you terminal. Yeah, you not leave the airport. I think you basically just have to go back through. Security, Security yeah. and check in, yeah. I don't, we don't have to check in. Oh, do we not? What do we have to do? Because we've already got our boarding pass and oh, we've already yeah. got rid of our bag. We just got to go true. through Security, through and then we're done. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's do let's it. it. Someone's tired. <laughs> I'm literally shattered. It's currently 6 30 in the morning. And we've just been like sort of sat around waiting because obviously we had like a four hour gap. What was layover. It? layover, that's it. So, and I haven't slept yet. Not Neither of us have slept a wink. Well, well, I like drifted off about five times on the plane and just worked straight back up Yeah, again. feeling pretty tired, but we've got like our flight boards in like an hour. Well, we think like half an hour to an hour. So we're just going to head over that direction. Go to Boracay, I'm actually really excited to get there. I just hope we can check into our hotel early. Yeah, have a nap. Have a nap, yeah. I think it's just gonna, gonna be one of those places that's gonna look even better in person. Well, fingers crossed anyway, we'll see. Raining in Boracay. Yeah. So we, I did look at the forecast and it did show the next couple of days was a bit ropey. It was like grey and rainy, but we're now here. It's so weird going from the contrast of Singapore Airport, which is absolutely massive, to this. It's been the airport is so cute and small. And this is baggage place. So I guess we wait for our baggage here? Yeah, feel it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I think we're gonna get on a trike. It depends if they can take our cases because they are quite heavy. Yeah. Um, but you we'll can get a trike for 50 pesos or you can get a van for 100 pesos, which is so cheap. Like a trike is like 75p yeah, yeah. each. And then- um, It'll be experience, you gotta do it. Yeah, I feel like we need to try at least. Let's see, hopefully they'll take our bags. <laughs> they take these, they're heavy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the tricycle is like, you breathe there, ma'am, sir, and the tricycle are you outside. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited.
So this is where we had to pay all the different fees. The terminal fee, which was 150 pesos each, environmental fee, which was 300 pesos each, the boat ticket, which was 50 pesos each, and then you also had to fill out a registration form. This was all super easy as we got one of the porters to help us, which you just have to give them a small tip at the end of it, but you literally speed through the process if you use one of those. So we made it to the other side on the boat. So now we need to get another like trike or taxi or something to our hotel. So let's continue. <laughs> this is actually so fun though. <laughs> So we've just been dropped off kind of like near our hotel. I think it's just down there. Can't drive down. Anymore. Yeah. We're gonna head to our hotel. I just really hope we can check in, but I don't have super high hopes. <laughs> it looks very pretty though, all the palm trees. Jasper's in charge of both the suitcases. I am so happy to finally be in the room. We couldn't check in early, so we've literally been waiting kind of around for like four hours. We both, like the tiredness just hit us and we were just like, we can't walk around. <laughs> um, so yeah, we did have to wait a little bit, but the room is definitely worth the wait. It is so beautiful. So I'll give you a room tour and show you. The hotel that we're staying at is called Banana Bay. So let's give you a room tour. So this is the door as you come in. Then to the right, we've got this little sofa area. I guess you could turn that. I don't know if it's like an actual sofa bed as well. Probably. And then the bed. How nice is this? So we've got a reasonable size bed actually. It's bigger than a double bed. Here we've got a little tea and coffee station. And then we've got a fridge with just like two nice big bottles of water in, which is lovely. Got a safe. And then over here, what's this? Is this? Oh, can you open it? Oh, I don't think, can you? I don't think you can. But yeah, the room is really nice. I'm really happy with this. And then coming through here, You've got wardrobe area, quite a lot of space actually. And then we've got a really nice big bathroom. So sink area, nice big shower here. And then we've also got a bath. Now the coolest part about this is that this is what Jasper has been looking forward to the most, <laughs> is you can pull out the TV and watch the TV in the bath. So that's the TV from the bedroom. And then Jasper just opened these up as well. So that looks into the bedroom as well. That is pretty cool to be fair, I've never seen that. Usually you have ones like in the wall. We've just figured out that we've been awake for 29, 30-ish hours. Um, because and yesterday we spent the whole day like in Singapore, like exploring, which was my previous vlog. Um, so yeah, we, we're yet to sleep yet. And we probably slept for about five minutes on the plane. Like it was just not a good time. So I'm very excited to be in the room. This is the balcony. What's up you? <gasps> oh, you got palm trees, how nice. And then that is the pool down there. So happy with this. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, a little rack to dry stuff on. Oh yeah, lovely. So yeah, overall, love the room. Good morning everyone. So it is actually now the next day. We slept incredible. Once we got in the room, we had a five hour nap and then we were up for a bit and we were just like, we're too tired. So we just ended up sleeping through till this morning. So we're fully caught up on our sleep now, which is amazing. So I'm feeling much more alive. We've got a couple of things that we need to sort out and organize um, today. So we need to find somewhere to do laundry. We need to get a SIM card, all of that kind of stuff. There's one main beach in Boracay, which is called White Beach. And it was named as one of the best beaches in the world. So I'm just so excited to see it, see what it's like. But hopefully it lives up to the expectations for, yeah, I'm really excited about that. But the beach that we're staying on is literally 
literally the other side of the island and it's called Bullabog Beach and even just walking past it yesterday that looks stunning so I can't actually imagine what White Beach is going to look like because that one's stunning in itself. Give you kind of an idea of how small this island is. Um, to walk from this side to the other side of the island is a 10 minute walk and it was so much cheaper to stay on this side of the island so we were just like may as well save the money so anyway gotta finish getting ready and then we shall head out and explore so this is Bullabog beach which is actually so nice although it's the windy side of the island and yeah i can definitely confirm it's very windy <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do is find laundry. But yeah, that was definitely very windy today. Way more windy than yesterday. But the beach outside is really nice and loads of people do like windsurfing and everything obviously because it's windy. and we can pick it up later today so that's all good we had a huge bag as well so let's head to white beach yep. this is white beach look at all the palm trees it's so pretty need it to be glorious sunshine you know see it's, it's full, very cloudy full potential. i just love it when a beach is lined with palm trees mm. it just looks so nice let's have a little walk along Just up from the beach there's a place called D Mall which is full of like shops, restaurants, bars, cafes, like all of that sort of stuff. Um, so we're just currently walking around this exploring, might try and get a coffee or something but it looks very nice. The beach was so nice though, I feel like it looked even better on a sunny day. Very busy and kind of touristy though because a lot of Filipinos actually come here on their holidays. Let's have an explore. See what we can find. See what we can find. Should we just get a coffee from here? Where's coffee? Where's coffee there? Iced latte. Yeah, let's get an iced coffee. Iced coffees acquired. Let's go. So you know I love Starbucks. Look at the location of this Starbucks. That is crazy. Literally a Starbucks right on the beach. It is just beautiful. And like look back there, all of the palm trees. It's just crazy. I've never I've never been anywhere like it. We basically had the full day of just exploring. We did like such a long walk along the beach, which was so lovely. And we kind of did all our life admin stuff. We got SIM cards, we got the laundry done. What else did we do? There was something else. We found the gym that we want to go to, which looks very interesting. It's kind of like an outdoory sort of gym. Um, and a lot of locals. Yeah. We like walked down to it and there were just like all these locals like sat outside and I just felt like oh are we not meant to be here but they were so lovely <laughs> yeah they were just like the nicest people ever so we're gonna go um use that tomorrow it should be good we're gonna go back out now watch sunset because hopefully it'll be a nice sunset because apparently the sunsets here are meant to be absolutely incredible is it sunny? Do you not think that's going to be a sunset? It's fully great. Oh, well, we'll go see anyway, and then we'll grab something for dinner, something to eat, so that should be nice. So far, though, my first impressions, the Philippines is beautiful. Everyone we spoke to is absolutely lovely, and, yeah, so far, I'm just loving it. Quite funny, because when we walked down to the gym, we, like, we just found the maps, didn't we? We was walking, yeah. and it's just, like, down, like, some gravelly path with just, like, I don't know, you're just, like, proper in the, in the local area, right? Yeah. You? walking down and then yeah we come around the corner it's like a it's like it gives me like classic bodybuilding outdoory vibe where it's just like straw roof big yeah. hut isn't it yeah, and it's just three big geezers sat in a doorway and we were just like, we're like oh. oh no we're like, hi <laughs> Uh, what did I say? I can't remember now. He said, like, how, how much? much is it? He's like, oh, 60 pesos. Which is so cheap, by like, the way. Oh, you can pay monthly. And then we realised they don't even work, work at the there. gym. They just go there. Because he... He, because I said, oh, we're here for two weeks, and the other one of the other guys was like, oh, you probably saved some money, and he went and asked the guy for us. He was so it's nice. It's four hundred pesos for two weeks, which is 
six pound which is incredible price they do actually look all right yeah so we're gonna go try and use that tomorrow but yeah they were so lovely so even though i was slightly like oh no intimidated at first um yeah so lovely yeah, i love every, the filipinos really nice, really nice. yeah so far i love it here so and it's even just beautiful even though the sun hasn't really been out that much today it's still beautiful so we've made it to the beach and this is part of the sunset i'm just not sure whether it'll turn out any better i'm not convinced it's what? slowly spreading but yeah it's not the greatest i just can't believe this is the backdrop for the video like what it's just like there's there's no gap in palm trees no there's the palm the trees down. the whole way yeah i feel this is my favorite beach in terms of the amount of palm trees that are here is pretty crazy yeah i just want to see it like in because i think it's in been, pristine conditions yeah because they've had like some quite a bit of wind before we came the sea's not like yes yeah, a bit more it's green blue, from but like it's seaweed. like seaweed green seaweed flowing around. hopefully we just have a few like chiller days because it's already looked when we came this morning it was like proper green yeah now it was it looks, like baby blue yeah with green streaks yeah the sea looks so much bluer now so hopefully and we'll be sorted it's, it's windy our side at the moment isn't it yeah so, so windy, windy. So we found this Mexican restaurant for dinner and we think we're going to go in there because I love Mexican, Jasper loves Mexican and it's right on the seafront. Nachos, got it in Oh, I hope so. Yeah, it's Mexican, it must do. The location is amazing though, it's literally just that. So good. This looks unreal. That is so well. So I got a strawberry margarita. Jasper got a mango. It's good now. We've also got some tacos. We've got a beef one and a chicken one. I guess it just folds up into what? Yeah. In the next episode, we continue exploring Boracay and head to Pucker Beach. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. And we also see the famous keyhole.